graph a quadratic, that's the standard form, if it has one root. Okay? We remember from last time, if it has one root, our discriminant will equal zero. Our b squared minus 4ac will equal zero, um, which eliminates the, the possibility of there being a positive and a negative. This positive zero is the same as negative zero, so that doesn't give us two solutions. We'll only get one. Okay? So to find the x-intercepts, let's just verify that. Okay? x equals, um, oh, first I'll label my a, b, and c. My a is 1, because I don't see a number in front of the x. I know there's a 1 there. My b is negative 10. And my c is 25. That looks like a 70, doesn't it, that negative 10. Let's redo that, and let's redo that equal sign. a equals 1, b equals negative 10. All right, so x equals negative b, negative, negative 10 is just 10, plus or minus the square root of negative 10 squared, that's 100, minus 4 times 1 times 25. All over 2a, 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so x equals 10 plus or minus, and okay, we always simplify under the radical next, 100 minus 4 times 1 times 25. 4 times 25 is 100. Okay? So 100 minus 100 is 0. Square root of 0 is just 0. So the only root I have is x equals 10 over 2. x equals 5 is my only solution. So what that looks like, if I remember, um, if I only have one x-intercept, that means my parabola is going to touch the x-axis at 5. Okay, it's going to touch the x-axis at 5, and that's the vertex okay, at the x-axis. It doesn't go through there, it just touches it there. That's why there's only one solution. So it's going to look something like this. But to graph it exactly, um, we're going to have to do some more work. But first off, so to find the vertex, there's no work I have to do for that. Okay, I know the vertex is, is the x-intercept. Okay, it is where it touches the x-axis, so it's at 5, 0. Um, and the axis of symmetry is always the x coordinate in the vertex, so it's just x equals 5. If I had gone through and calculated it, I would have got these answers. Okay, if I had used x equals negative b over 2a, okay, negative b, so negative negative 10 is 10 over 2a over 2, I get 10 over 2, which is 5. And if I plug 5 into this equation, I get 25 minus 10 times minus um, 10 times 5, which is 50. So 25 minus 50 is negative 25. Plus 25 is 0. There's the y coordinate. Okay. So this is a shortcut. If you only have one solution, you know the problem is just going to touch the x-axis there, and that is the vertex. So the x-intercept of 5, 0 is the vertex. Axis of symmetry is the x-coordinate of the vertex. Okay, so it's all coming together at this point in the year right now. If you'll to sketch the graph, we know our vertex is at 5, 0. We need to figure out some points to the left and right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's our vertex. If I can figure out the y values of points to the left and right, I can make a nice sketch of this graph. Okay? Um, if I plug 4 into my equation here, in for x, I would get a y value of 1. Okay, 16 minus 40, okay, negative 24, plus 25 is 1. And I know parabolas are symmetrical, so if I go on to the right, it'll also be at 1. So here's my parabola that looks something like this. Make sure I label my vertex. And there we have it. There's the parabola. Um, just another note here, I've already said it a few times, but we only know the vertex which is also the x-intercept for a quadratic with one root. Okay? So therefore, in order to graph, we have to find a point to the left and right of the vertex. So if the vertex is at 5 on the x-axis, I then have to find um, points to the left and right. So at 4 on the x-axis and at 5 on the x-axis, I found those y-coordinates by plugging in 4 and 6 in, in for x into my formula there. Okay? okay, graphing with zero roots. We know a problem will have zero roots if the discriminant if the b squared minus 4ac, if that equals a neg <coughs> sorry, if that equals a negative number, okay, because we can't take the, the square root of a negative number. 
All right. So um, graph y equals x squared minus 6x plus 11. Let's just go ahead and verify that this has no roots. So my a value is 1. My b value is negative 6. And my c value is 11. Okay. So x equals negative negative 6, which is just 6, plus or minus b squared. Negative 6 squared is 36, minus 4 times a times c, all over to a. Simplify under the radical, plus or minus 36 minus 4 times 11 is 44. 36 minus 44 is negative 8. So as soon as you see this negative term under the square root sign there, you know there are no solutions, okay? Because you can't take um, the square root of a negative number. There's no way of, of squaring a number and getting a negative result. No way, okay? That's why you can't do that. So, um, I, won't, oh, I won't even write x equals. x doesn't equal anything. We can't, there are no solutions to that. So I'm going to write no roots, no solutions, no x-intercepts, okay? No roots. So how do I graph this if it has no roots? Well, I'm going to have to find the vertex. So to find the vertex, I have to first find the x-coordinate, which is the axis of symmetry. And I know my formula for that is negative b over 2a. Okay? So negative negative 6, which is just 6, over 2 times, two times 1, a is 1. Um, so 6 over 2, which is 3. So to find the vertex, I know my x-coordinate of the vertex is the axis of symmetry, which is 3. So my y vertex, I just have to plug in 3 for x. And that will tell me the y coordinate of the vertex. Okay? So 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 11, 9 minus 18, negative 9 plus 11 is 2. So my vertex is 3, 2. X coordinate is 3, Y coordinate is 2. There's my vertex right there. Um, I'll just highlight that so we can see it. There's my vertex. Okay. Note, um, we could have also found this vertex by completing the square if we wanted to. Um, I find it a lot less work just to use this, um, to find the X coordinate, the axis of symmetry plug that in, find the y coordinate. But you could complete the square as well and, and find your vertex. Okay? So once we've found our vertex, this is all we know about our parabola so far. One, two, three, one, two. Our vertex is right here. That's all we know. Okay? But we also know it opens up because our a value is one. Um, so it looks something like this. But to find out exactly what it looks like, find points to the left and to the right of three. Okay? So to find points to the left and right, um, so I'll calculate the point to the left. So if I put in 2 for x, it'll tell me the y coordinate. Okay, so if I put in 2 for x there, I will get a, a y coordinate of 3. 2 squared is 4 minus 6 times 2. So 4 minus 12 is negative 8 plus 11 is 3. So at 2 on the x-axis, my y value is 3. There's a point. I know parabolas are symmetrical. So to the right one, it must also be at 3. So my parabola looks like this. I will label my vertex. Oops, 3, 2. And there we go. There's that parabola. Um, we only knew the vertex. That's why in order to graph, we had to find points to the left and right. Okay. Um, and that's it for the lesson. Um, if you have any questions about how to graph a problem, um, just let me know.